Hey there, everybody. Matt Carter here. And Jessica Carter from CarterMatt.com. We have made it to The Expanse, Season 3, Episode 13, entitled Abaddon's Gate. This is the Season 3 finale. Also, we're all caught up, everyone. It only took yes. us the uh, past several weeks, but now we are all kind of collectively at the same exact point. But uh, just a quick little programming update as to what we're going to be doing. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to be doing, shortly after this video is going up, we'll have a video that is our Season 4 trailer reaction we have been very good we have not watched the trailer no nope. we have tried to remain spoiler free for all of this we're gonna watch that we have screeners for the first several episodes of season four yep. so we'll start preparing some of that in advance and then as soon as the expanse is available on amazon you'll be able to check out our video discussions of the first several episodes we'll try to get the rest done as soon as possible yeah but now, we got a lot to dive into here, and if you enjoy our breakdown, give us a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Let's... I, I, it's hard to even know where to start, because this episode was insane. It was insane. There was so much that was happening. I, I'm just gonna say how much I loved this episode, and how it did such a good job of bringing everything together, and... I never thought I was going to say this, but bringing Bobby back to the crew. I, I can't believe what a turnaround I've felt about this character. The show has done such a good job of bringing me characters that I'm not too sure about. And then here I am excited that this whole episode ended with Bobby back on the Rossi with the crew sitting beside Alex. <sighs> <laughs> I just, I'm so, this episode has made me so excited for what's coming up in season four. And we covered the cancellation of the show yeah. and then the rally that all of you put together and came together to help try to get the show saved. The, we covered the show getting saved. Now going through the whole show yeah. and seeing this ending and the feelings of... Being so involved in these characters in this show, I completely understand why everyone was so passionate to get this show saved. I need to see more. Uh, yeah, and you know what's so fascinating, I think, about the ending, not not to just start at the ending and go I elsewhere, but I know. I can't help it's it. It's just that <laughs> it is, I think it was so fantastic when it comes to sort of giving you like true, actual closure to the story of the first few seasons but then also basically being like but guess what we also have all of this to explore absolutely and also just kind of giving us even just a little bit of hope yeah and naomi and amos their relationship is not exactly on track again yeah. but just that tiny moment of him handing her some stuff to help with her repairs that she was doing on the ship and just that little look back yeah. and that little bit of a smile from Naomi. There's some hope here for maybe just a little bit of healing. Yeah, I mean, relationship-wise, there there's hope for Naomi and Amos to patch together what they once had. Yeah. You know, there's certainly hope for Naomi and Holden because they're... You know, they're going to be back around each other again, presumably. Absolutely. And, and we saw them in the episode say that they, you know, get, get say that they love each other and that that handhold, that everything is okay. They are moving forward. Yeah. So, I, I mean, I think our crew is going to kind of be a little bit more together again. They can have some more adventures. I don't think we're going to have them split up as much. And as, we even had a moment with Miller at the end. And I'm not <laughs> expecting to see him in season four, but it was nice to tie the end of this season with just a little bit of him at the end, just for my little Miller heart. I really, I really enjoyed this ending. Yeah, I enjoyed this ending a lot too. And I think it was pretty heartfelt. And I think it gave, it gave closure and a little bit of a way to Miller, even though this was sort of Miller as a, almost like a de facto spokesperson yeah. for the proto molecule who you know i i've made a number of mass effect comparisons throughout here's my last one the proto molecule kind of like the protheans <laughs> they're a little bit wiped out and now we're maybe going to get a chance to see some more answers as to maybe what happened to their civilization yeah. maybe this is going to be a search for some sort of information and i think 
we at least have like some sort of an idea as to what their end game in all of this was mm -hmm. at this point where you know i don't know if humanity are the best detectives in the universe for them but maybe it's kind of all they got at this point it is a bit all that they've got and as they said there will be the the bloody gold rush to everybody trying to get into these different places that have all opened up now and it just opens up this show to so many different possibilities and different places that they can go. And there's no better time for Amazon to have saved it as well yeah. because now Jeff Bezos, you can spend all of the money putting aliens on the expanse. <laughs> yeah. You can have the CGI budget can go way, way up or maybe it'll give us some really cool costumes or creature effects. I'm getting really far ahead of myself. Yes. But <laughs> I just think that there is so much potential to explore like the depths of the imagination because we've seen so many imaginative ideas through the first three seasons of The Expanse. Yep. And that's with us really, you know, the furthest out we kind of got is around Saturn and Uranus. We didn't even go to the full end of this solar system. Yep. And now guess what? Other solar systems. Yeah, it's, it's opened the doors to all kinds of possibilities. And we've said before along this journey, we have never read the books. We don't know where this is going. So, but, so for us, it's really this huge, vast opening of stories and all these different places to go and adventures for our team. And if they can just get Prax back on board, then they're all complete. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, we need Prax. We need Prax. You know, I guess we got to bring May along as well because, you know, she needs her dad. So. That's right. There we go. Then we can have our complete great. And then get Christian more involved as well. Because yeah, Christian needs to be more involved. Let's bring Drummer on board. <laughs> Everyone that I love. Okay, let's let's give our Drummer update. Because then we'll backtrack to some of the stuff that was going on at the Behemoth. Because there was all sorts of stuff. Drummer! Dr what are, Drummer has like some sort of crazy death wish at this point. Because she almost dies again in this episode. She feels a bit like a Viking in this, yeah. in this way because a lot of the Viking culture was that you were going to have this sort of big honorable death where you go out in a blaze of glory and that's what that felt like that that was happening. She's That was one grenade. She got two grenades waiting to just blow everything up there and save everybody. She feels a lot like a Viking to me. Yeah, I think that's pretty appropriate. I think she just feels like she's going to do the mission or she's going to die doing the mission. Yes. And ultimately, in this case, she starts to come around more and more to the idea that maybe Holden is right about what needs to be done in order to ensure everyone's safety. She's kind of on the fence about it for a little bit in this episode, <laughs> but, you know, she just doesn't want to see anything happen to Naomi. Yeah, her how much she cares about Naomi was very evident in this episode when she told Holden to give her the message that she was sorry that that she fired on him and that she tried to kill him and that it was very important that that was the last message that she was able to get out to her. Yeah, and I I I, I love the I love the relationship between Drummer and Naomi. Yeah. I think it manifested itself really really well. And then, though, we also see how much Drummer just also cares about what she believes is right. And we get yep. this, you know, she's willing to die in order to stop, ultimately, Ashford and then Diogo. And Diogo, you know, you had, you, you could have been something special, Diogo. And instead... He, instead, he's feeling himself a little too much now. <laughs> yeah, he, he sided with the wrong people. I don't know why you thought you deserved to wear the cool armor. But here we are. Here we are. <laughs> and, you know, there goes Dioko. I'm not unhappy. Yeah, he I know. Was, he was fun. I was really enjoying his relationship with Miller when yeah. all that was going on. But since then, he's been feeling himself a little much. He doesn't seem to really care about a lot other than kind of being just a bit of a legend. Yeah, going out as someone who people will talk about and tell stories of that time Diogo did this and and that's sort of what it felt yeah. like he was going that it wasn't about any sort of bigger purpose than leaving behind the legend of Diogo. The legend of Diogo should have just been that you really like the music on Heroes because if that was the case, this story <laughs> would have ended very differently for you yes. than what it has. But 
other unexpected heroism throughout this episode. I mean, we talked a little bit about Bobby, who has now basically betrayed people within Mars on multiple occasions. Yeah, and it's uh, it was good to see. It was not unsurprising that she went back yeah. to being part of the, the Mars crew and being yeah. part of the military there wasn't surprising i get why she did but she was going in with a more open mind now and i think she thought maybe she could make a little bit of a difference to open other people's minds too but sometimes if you don't see it with your own eyes like the mm. the martian that came on the ship and saw christian and and mars and belters and earthers and everybody was just like what kind of ship is this I think sometimes if you just don't yeah. see it for yourself, you're not able to really get it. So even though she was able to bring back this vast knowledge with yeah. her of what she has seen and what she knows, it's hard to convince people. And I think now, I don't know how, how uh, ultimately Bobby's going to be able to go back to Mars. I think she's kind of stuck with the Rossi crew at this point. Well, that's it. It felt like at the end of this, she realized that there was no... Going back to Mars with an open mind. Yeah. That everyone else there still has a lot more of a closed perception of what's going on in the universe and who the enemies are yeah. and how things have to go and that there is no let's think about this. It's take your orders and let's move it along. And she's just not there anymore. She has opened her mind to other things. So seeing her decide to join the Rossi crew makes sense for her. She, You can't go back. Pretty much what Ashford has been saying this whole time. You can't go back and relive the good old glory days when you've moved forward. Speaking of Ashford, I mean, he lives to potentially regret his own advice yeah. in this episode because our unexpected hero of the hour turns out to be Melba, who, uh, you know, ends up being freed from her prison. And, you know, yeah. the initial thought of that is, oh, no, this is not good. She's going to go and just, like... Cause it, some problems yeah. and maybe try to kill Holden again. But yeah. I think when she was in there and she was listening to what Holden was saying, saying to Naomi, having yeah. these conversations, that she kind of got a different... Her own perspective of really who Holden is and that it's not about necessarily that Holden was out to do these horrible things to her father or her family or anything like that. Yeah. That there is more to Holden and these conversations he was having with Miller and these conversations having with Naomi opened up this whole different side that she didn't really get to see. I think Holden is a part of it and I think Anna's a part of it because yeah. Anna show you know, Anna helped to make sure that she didn't die. At that given point, and I think Anna and kind of the messages that she had sort of brought forward, it all sort of leads to Melba being in this point where, you know, she gets Ashford to release her ability to be Super Melba again, and, uh, you know, and she basically asks him for some advice on trying to make things right or doing the right yeah. thing. Yeah, yep. And then he presents it not really knowing that this is eventually going to lead to her, like, uh, super powering out on him. Yeah. And allowing the ship to power down. So Melba saves the day. <laughs> yep. I don't know what this means for her moving forward. Maybe just some peace of mind. Yeah, it might not be. I don't know if Melba's going to be around in season four or anything else like that. But she does make sure that everyone is powered down and the ships are able to convince the proto ring that they are not enormous threats yes and to just let them go which thank goodness by the way because <laughs> these people have done some really ridiculous stuff and it's like at this point you guys gotta know you are not more powerful than the proto molecule yeah that's why and i understand human curiosity yeah uh, where now all these other little portals have all opened up and the idea that there will be the bloody gold rush and everyone's gonna go to do this again after yeah. they all just went into the ring and nothing was really that great in there. They didn't really get a lot out of there. They almost yeah. all got killed in there. And now there's a whole bunch more little portals that are open and everyone's going to do this again. The best thing that I can say about this episode is... I love endings where you watch the final minutes and you just want to watch those final minutes on loop over and over and over again. 
it's sort of like, and I've had this, even not to keep bringing up Mass Effect, I've had this at the end of a couple of Mass Effect games. Not Mass Effect 3, mind you, but other Mass Effect <laughs> games where I've just wanted to rewatch the endings of them in various forms. And it's like, the ending, the, it was visually, it was awesome. I think narratively, it was awesome. Yeah. It was such great closure for Miller. I think with Holden, I mean, I still don't know why Holden can't, like, have a robe or something whenever he gets, like, transported somewhere else, but <laughs> it's like, okay, all of a sudden, you, you don't have your clothes anymore, but all right. Uh, yeah, yeah, shirtless Holden, here we are. Whatever, but anyway, I, I just, I, I love the just way it was put together, and it's like, it's like a closer cliffhanger. It's like you get closure, but then you're also just like, ah! Yeah, and here's the new story that could be coming. That could be coming, and thanks to everyone and Jeff Bezos, it now seems to be. And, of course, we know it's going to be here in just a matter of days at the time yeah. of this recording. I am so excited for it. Yeah, I can't I, wait. I know. I'm so excited to be, like, on the same page as everyone else and kind of be going through this process of, like, sharing all our theories and everything else together. Don't get me wrong. It's been fun doing these videos. Oh, yeah. It's it, been a lot of fun. This has been a great show, and and I'm really thankful that this show was suggested to me over and over and over yeah. again without any spoilers. It was Really a nice journey to yeah. go through together where we have a show that neither of us have seen. We don't know anything about it. Yeah. And just enjoy it and chat with all of you guys about it. Yeah. That has been a lot of fun for me and for Mad. Yeah. To just have these conversations is like we're we're chatting with our new friends. And, and it's been a lot of fun. And I'm sure some of you, you're probably like clenching your teeth at times because you just want, I really want to say this. I really want to give but you know, you, you held back. I appreciate the restraint because <laughs> I don't know if I would have it in certain moments, but you guys have been great with all of that. So thank you. And now, like The Expanse, we are all off to New Horizons together to discuss season four. But let's, for one last time, let us know what you thought about this finale in the comments. And now you can say whatever you want because we're all on the we're same page. Miller, uh, Miller. We're, just, we're still doing that? <laughs> all right. No, but uh, if you like this video, give us a like, subscribe, and you can support us further by checking the link in the description. Miller. Okay, see, I did it too. Yeah, okay. Right. Thank you guys so much. And we'll see you here next time.